Good morning, welcome to Be Fit for Christ. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for joining me. Day 19 already, 500 crunches, 25 scriptures, and three psalms. Today we're gonna be uh, reviewing Psalm 23. Uh, today I just wanna talk with you about the treasure of his word. In Psalm 119, 28, it says, strengthen me according to your word. Why is it that I always tell you guys to read the Bible? Because it is every answer to everything in your life. Um, it's a gift from God to us. It's a love letter to each and every one of us. It is his very thoughts and plans of the living God. Therefore, we are the apple of his eyes, he says. That's good to know, that promise. It makes you feel good to know that you are the apple of his eye. And every problem we have is because we do it our way and not his. God wants to bless the work of our hands, but we have to cooperate with him and understand how he thinks. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts and his ways are better than our ways. Um, anyways, because we are the temple of the Holy Spirit, our bodies, and he is in us, our, we are the temple, so uh, you can't act on, you know, what you know uh, through your five senses, like the natural, but the sixth sense is the Holy Spirit. If you're a believer, you have the Holy Spirit dwelling on the inside of you. God reveals himself through the Holy Spirit, and you get discernment. So God's word is as timely and applicable to our lives today as on the day it was first written. In fact, every time I read the Bible, I receive new insights into the character of God and the challenges I'm facing. So God is always bringing something to my attention that is important um, for me to know. So the same can be true for you. Scripture teaches us how to distinguish between His voice and the others that buy for our attention. So, you can take the right path and avoid pitfalls. So take hold of the treasure he has given. Uh, read the word and listen to your living, loving God. Um, Sunday at church at Prestonwood, I left my Bible and my notebook that has all my scriptures, all my notes in there for about three years now. Uh, that Bible is 30 years old. That was given to um, from my first husband. We were married 20 years, and so he gave me that. That was a present. So I'm just asking you to pray with me and believe that it is coming back into my hands. I went there yesterday to look for it, and they're lost and found, and it wasn't there. So I am crushed. That's like losing my best friend. I have so many notes and uh, memories and experiences and scriptures. Um, I was just... Um, crying yesterday when I couldn't find it, but I'm believing that somebody's going to turn it in and I'm going to find it this week. It's going to find me. So in Jesus, me, in Jesus' name, will you stand with me in that belief? I really would appreciate that. So let's pray. Father God, help us to know you through scripture. Bring your word to life. Open our spiritual eyes so we can see you on those pages and our spiritual ears so we can hear you, what you're trying to tell us. Help us to be still and know that you are God. You and your word are one, and we wanna grow in your wisdom and enjoy your peace. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Let's get going, we got a lot of work to do. All right, today I'm gonna to change it up. We're going to start with all the way up setups. We're going to try and do 25 of those. This really does help my lower tummy. Now, if this is too hard for you, and it may be, uh, just do the little the crunches. Those are good, too. And this, we just always want to protect our back. Sometimes these can hurt your back. Doing the full sit-up. Okay, round six. Okay. So, 118.24, we are celebrating today together. This is the day that the Lord hath made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Okay, there's 10. You can do it. Oh, yeah, these are hard. <laughs> Go for it, though. I know you want to 
one, and I just hope, tell me, just like I do. Oh, being a figure skater most of my life, and very conscientious of, you know, my body. I like it to feel <coughs> in shape and right. So this is really, you know, I am going to do other workouts, but I think the next one is going to be uh, squats and arms. And so it's going to be a body training class. So I hope you are going to join me for that. We're almost there. Five more. Of course, Corinthians 6, 19 and 20. Do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, who is in you? And you are not your own. Who is from God? Who is from God? And you are not your own. Okay, we're going to climb up for, for 10. And then we're going to pull ourselves down. Climb up that rope slowly. Good job. Reach all the way up. And slowly use every little increment of your tummy muscles to let yourself down. Don't, don't pop down. down. But ease your way down. Use those tummy muscles. Oh, contract them. Okay, this is number four. Good job. Keep going. Five. Five more. You can do it. Make sure you're breathing. Nice job. Oh. Okay. I'm going to go through our scriptures for our third week of scriptures. I'm hoping you're remembering to work on memorizing all of those, or at least maybe saying them each and every day. Whew. Okay, our first one is the famous John 3 16. For God so loved the world, one more, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believe, and we're just going <coughs> to reach out, reach down and out by our feet. Whew. Keep going. Good job. That's one, two, three, four, five. Makes 50 total. We're going to do 50 more. We can do it. Okay, our next scripture is whew, remember oh, John 14, 6. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And it's the way, <laughs> the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. So you, in order to get to heaven, I say you have to go through Jesus and believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins, and God rose up from the dead on the third day, on the third day. So he interceded for us. He paid the penalty. We owed a debt we could not owe. We could not pay. And Jesus paid the debt, uh, which we didn't know, but he did because of the love that he had for us. Hold, two, three, four, five. And so just remember, it says, <clears throat> you confess with your mouth that the Lord is Jesus. And believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes to righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made. So he wants to hear your words. Say that, Lord, you are my Lord and Savior. I am yours. Come into my heart. <sighs> you are Lord of my life now. I will turn away from my sin and repent of them and start living my life for you. You are first and foremost in my mind, in my heart, in my body, in everything that I do and say. Whew, I love that. And it's just a journey. It's just a walk with the Lord daily. And we're not perfect. That doesn't mean we're never going to sin. <laughs> That is for sure. In fact, our next scripture is Romans 3.23. And it says, All the sin and fall short of the glory of God. <clears throat> okay, this is going to make 150. Almost there. Keep going. 
Keep on going. I really look forward to my work today. Oh. Anyways, I am bummed out about my Bible. That is my, oh, just my everything. Pull, two, three, four, five. But in Philippians 4, 6, it says, Do not be anxious for anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be known to God. God, I'm requesting somebody turn in my Bible so that I get it back. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Oh, I do have peace. I do believe that I'm going to get my Bible back. I'm excited. That is my treasure for my life. It really is. That and my children. <laughs> hmm. And now I'm doing this. This is pretty, pretty fun, pretty big. It's going to be, I think, from here on out, a big part of my life. And I'm excited. And I'm glad you decided to join me. Thank you for that. I love you guys. I appreciate you. Good job. Okay. And Romans 12, too. And just remember, all I want to do with this is get you to feel better, look better, um, and be able to do your best for, for Christ. And all I want to do is help you triumph in God's best for your life. Whatever that is. Everyone's got a different plan and purpose. Okay. We're going to do our, our side crunches. We're with opposite elbow. Reaching up and trying to touch the knee. Okay. This is going to make 50 on each one. So this is going to make 200. I believe. And then your other side will be at 250. And get ready to do the plane. Okay, what is our next scripture? Oh, so uh, Romans 12 to you is, and do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds, that you may prove that which is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Oh, love that. And I know, now I remember the next one is Genesis 1.1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And Romans 8, 28 is that we know that all things, all things work together for good to those who love him, to those who are called according to his purpose. So, as I believers, we have a lot of good things to look forward to in our lives. Oh, good job, almost there. I'm feeling it. I hope you are too. Breathe. Pull your belly button down to the floor. And just try and crunch up. Work all those abdomen muscles. And if you're just starting with me, I was hoping that you would take a picture. Like a before, and then in six months, we're going to take an after. Hold, two, three, four, five. Good, you're not going to show anybody, <laughs> so don't worry. That's just for your reference to see that all the hard work paid off. Woo, woo, it will be nice. Let's see. Did I do all the scriptures? I believe I did. So, again, it's John 3 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes shall not perish, but have everlasting life. In John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Romans 3, 23, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 8, 28, and we know that all things work together for good to those who love him, to those who are called according to his purpose. Philippians 4, 6. Be anxious for nothing but in everything. By prayer and supplication and thanksgiving, let your request be known to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. 
Romans 12, 2. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds, that you may prove that which is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Now, just remember, I may not know these perfectly, but I think I know them pretty well. I might be making, you know, a few words here and there off, but I think I do. Uh, well, at least by heart now. And Genesis 1 1, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. It didn't just happen, it didn't just explode and be there. There's no way. With this beautiful creation, we have a creator. And it is God Almighty. Okay, whew. All right, we are halfway there. Are you ready? Okay, I have to remember Psalm 23, and it's a beautiful psalm. You hear these? This one, uh, some of the lines said at funerals. Anyways, it's just a good one to know. I hope you're memorizing this one. Here we go, nice and flat. And after, we're going to do mountain climbers, <coughs> mountain twists. Okay, Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. I love that he makes you <laughs> lie down in green pastures. He leads me in the path of righteousness for the no. Ah, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. He restores my soul. Yea, though I walk through the shadow of the valley of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff will comfort me. You go to prepare a table before me from my enemies. You anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. I think I missed the line, but that's why we review them. See, I knew it too. Okay, well, real quick. We've got 300 so far. We're going to do 25. 25 of these, and then we're going to do 10 twists. Good job. Good job. And 10 twists. Twist and kick. Twist and pull it up. Twist. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and go again. Good, the next 350 plus 20, 370. Almost there. Okay, 370. And real quick, my hair's falling out. We are just going to do a few Russian twists to get to 400. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Now 25 more, and we'll be at 400. And then we're in the home stretch. With your body and your torso. Here we go. And just lift the leg up a little bit and look at your, try and reach your shoe with your elbow. And we're just going to stay on this for 25. And then on the other side, 25. And then we're going to do 50 bicycles. And guess what? We can say goodbye for the day. I'm so proud of you. So proud of you. No matter if you're doing five sit-ups, 10, 50, it doesn't matter. It all adds up. In Jesus' name, and we're learning scripture, and we're meditating on God's word. Oh, his word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I don't remember which one that is, but I believe that's a psalm. <clears throat> oh. I really do want God's best for your life. So I'm trying to pour into you in a physical way, emotionally and spiritually. Hold it, switch. 
And I really hope that you're receiving this and benefiting from you from it and that you're growing in the word daily. And you're growing in your relationship with the Lord. Ah, I'm so thankful for you. I'm grateful for anyone who's joining me. Let's keep keep it going. But oh, 15 more. You can do it. Breathe. Yes. Five more. Four. Three. Two. One. Okay, the last 15. Let's go. We're going to go fast and hard. On your toes. And flex your feet. One point. Good job. Flex. Last five. Plus ten. You can do it. Done. Congratulations. Day 19. Checked off. Oh, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Go out and be the light and the salt. This dark world needs you. They need to know about Jesus. Oh, Jesus loves you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.